I want to thank, start by thanking the jury. We respect their decision today. I really want to thank those hardworking citizens of Washington, D.C. that uh, had to take an entire week off to go through this. So their thanks. We respect their decision. We may have lost a battle here today, but we're not going to lose this war, okay? David Schoen's going to talk here in a second about exactly what, what the jury heard. They came to their conclusion, right, about what was put on in, the, in, in that courtroom. David Schoen's going to talk to you about our appeals process. But listen, in the closing argument, the, the prosecutor missed one very important phrase, right? I stand with Trump and the Constitution, and I will never back off that, ever. This is a bulletproof appeal. Uh, I, have you ever in another case seen a judge six times say in the case that he thinks the standard uh, for willfulness is wrong? He said it doesn't comport with modern jurisprudence. He said it doesn't comport with the standard, tradi uh, the traditional definition. Uh, but he said he feels his hands were bound by, the deci uh, by a 1961 decision. You will see this case reversed on appeal. You will see all of these resources, three federal prosecutors, four FBI agents for misdemeanor, being wasted. Um, you cannot find another crime in which uh, misdemeanor or felony in which a person is convicted without believing or knowing or having reason to believe he or she did anything wrong. That's the standard that was applied in this case. The government said from the start the standard they were urging on the court was, was Bannon subpoenaed and did Bannon show up? Doesn't matter his reasons. They won the case, maybe in closing today, they lost their appeal in closing today. The overreaching by the government in this case has been extraordinary on every level. But shame on this office of the United States Attorney's Office and the Department of Justice for how far it went in this case. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.